This is the cat. Fan pocket sitting outside Brava. It seems closed for the afternoon. As soon as you arrive, he stands and walks up to meet you. Pocket rubs his head against the bottom of your legs, purring. He puts his front paws on your legs, looking up into your face. That is a boy. Nice kitty. <laughs> Isn't that what you normally say to a dog? Nice kitty. Pocket suddenly darts around you, pawing you playfully as if in a game of tag. He runs towards the restaurant and you notice something hanging from his mouth. It's your wallet. The cat took your wallet. Chase after him. Hey! Pushes his way into the restaurant door. How did he know it would be unlocked? You follow him determined to get your wallet back. You're alone in the restaurant except a tired looking man you assume is the owner. Hmm? Yes, hello. How can I help you? Did you see a cat? <laughs> Are you single? It's funny. <laughs> Bang, I'm smooth. Did you see a cat? Ah, oh, a cat? No, sir. This is an eating establishment. You see your wallet on the floor of the restaurant. You go pick it up. All the money is still inside. Claim arises from the kitchen. Something's gone away. Now what? It's probably that cat. Pocket runs past the giant fish hanging out of its smell. Ugh. Oh lord, I suppose we should call animal control. He's already out the door. I apologize. Uh, pay for the f The money is only half of it, you know. I source my ingredients carefully. Just mm -hmm. please leave and make sure your animal does not come back. I hope you realize what you did, Pocket. <laughs> you head home. I just have to block you here, happy meowing. Looking around, you find po Pocket enjoying his fish immensely. Territorial finishes knocking, knocking him back further at me. Looks like he saved half of it for you untouched. No thanks. Trying to bri um, trying to bribe me. Pocket flicks his tail casually. I don't have any gifts right now. I don't think. Let's see. He freezes in his ear against a girl starts in a syrup. Oh, it's that mean cat again. Let's see. Walks up and starts eating Pocket's fish. Pocket doesn't seem to know how to react to this. His frozen eyes wide. Defend your prize move. You can be friends. Defend your prize. It's quickly clear that Pocket is outmatched. The street cat sits down and prints. Shoo. You head home. Dude, what happened? Looks like he got beat up. There was another cat, maybe you should go outside. Well, obviously. He's gonna do what he wants, I guess. I just hope he's more careful. I guess let me go ahead and see about doing the on guard. <laughs> He's so crazy with the like explosions and stuff. See? Well, hello. Seem to be getting the hang of parry, so today we'll try the repost. After parry, repost lets you thrust in return. He glances at the door of the back seat. Mm. Here, it's easier if I show you. Go ahead and attack me. Attack right, attack left. Uh, lunch? As you lean straight into pressing into your shoulder. The more aggressive the attack, the more vicious the repose. The repose turns the attacker's energy back mm. upon them as it glances at the clock. Here, I'll attack you, uh, parry, and stuff forward and attack me. Uh, do you want to take a break? Uh. No, yes. Uh, I, yes, I think so. I don't know. You're very perceptible. I'm sorry. I'm distracted indeed. He takes off his gear and pours refreshments. Let's see. My father has finished a hostile takeover of my firm. He fought a majority and discredited me with the board. That sucks. That's so rude. Why is your dad like that? Come on, dude. You're clearly successful. Like, look at this. So my time is just about over at Brooks. So I only have today and tomorrow. Try not to care what he thinks. He's a foolish, closed-minded old man. Yeah. I've officially disowned him and cut off contact. But now I'm gonna lose everything I've built here because of him. How can I not care? That's frustrating. Be proud of what you did. You still have fencing? I'm sorry, your dad is garbage. That sounds frustrating. Right. Yes, it is deeply so. But I'm really glad I talked to you. I'm so sorry to burden you. You're cool. That sucks, though. I guess this is our last time fencing in this office. Tomorrow's my last day. I sold my stock. I'll be comfortable while I'll sort out what to do next. I'll be a bit like starting over. I've lost mm -hmm. so much. I keep trying to focus on fencing, but it's not working. Maybe I should give up for mm -hmm. the day. Or I can make a house call for a uniquely talented fencing student like you. Why not? Tonight. Uh, it sounds sexy. Wait, what? Uh. 
Am I already like in a relationship? I'm kind of like very, <laughs> let's see. Uh, I'm nervous that like, uh, uh, not, not nervous. So let's see, that makes things simpler. I'm not good at resisting temptation, but I do enjoy courtship. I hope to win your hand one day, my lady. That's sweet. It gives you a form. Aw. Well, that's cool. <laughs> let's see. I suppose this is good night for now. Thank you for your companionship. Honestly, I've been dreaming about you. Oh, that's cute. Honestly, I guess if I was to rank things, the cat's number one. I'm just kidding. Um, honestly, Isaac's pretty cool. Uh, I guess I'd probably do seven, then Isaac. Uh, I don't know. I actually kind of need to get to know everyone better in a little bit still because I haven't gone on dates with everyone completely just yet, but Zombie dream. What kind? <laughs> You're healing broken weapons of all kinds. Me too. It was lovely. You're her comfort to me even when I'm asleep. Thank you. Oh, that's cool. I mean, in a way, now that I think about it, I, I kind of been doing that right. You find so you're in Olivia sharing a textbook and comparing nice. notes. Oh good, you made it, Olivia. Meet Cinnamon. Olivia nears her eyes at you. Oh, are you okay, Olivia? No introduction necessary, band rucker, but we can get this over with quickly. I was about to say, like, I think she already knows who I am. She fits the assignment, so let's start the interview. Morale. Oh, Kitty, we should interview you instead. You're a gig economy worker, too. Does he have a degree? Mm. I'm not sure, cat count. Cat, cat, he gets a room of board, you know. His cat wanders huh? away. Sawyer, how could you be so rude to that poor exploit kitty? Hey, if you want a cat union, I'm on board, but we have homework to do. Okay, I'm so cinnamon. How much do you think a college education helps someone work better in the dungeon? Uh, I wouldn't say something like that would be like, not at all. Not for uh, a little. Okay, we know it's a dangerous job, but do you get any benefits from working? I mean, new people, infinite bubble tea, they heal my injuries. That's nice, but not really the kind of benefit we mean. Hmm. Traditionally, workers get health or life insurance, unemployment pay, minimum wage, right? If the job requires, this isn't that kind of job. Uh huh. Well, okay, but what opportunities for advancement do you have? I try to go deeper. I level up. They call me a sword smoocher. I, I level up. So your frowns at their notes and exchanges looks with Olivia. Hmm. Well, according to this elevate uh, evaluation assignment, you're being thoroughly exploited. And the more jobs like yours, the more unstable and fragile our economy is. Well, jobs like mine too. It's not like they pay weapons better. What have I done? So now on top of exams and homework, I have to worry about contributing to exploitation. I don't worry so much. You're doing fine. Mm -hmm. So it's right, you know. So you're chill. It's not your fault. You're doing your best, and you're still a student. Once you, once you're graduated, you can do whatever, uh, you know. So your size and the cat returns, jumping up next to them and staring curiously. Well, I'm gonna go. I have other homework before my show. Uh. See ya. Olivia sniffs at you as she leaves. <laughs> She's so mad about the whole band thing. So you're thoughtfully pets the cat, frowning at her softly. Are you okay? Uh huh. Yeah, fine. Nothing new anyway. It's been like this for a while. I just have a big exam coming up. I don't feel ready for anything, but it's fine. I'm fine. I should just focus on the here and now. Which means here and now. I should probably be brave and say they swallow fingers. Uh, fidgeting? Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know if this is a date for you, but I like you. I really like you. Oh, well, that's sweet. <laughs> Not a good point, Kitty, but I meant cinnamon. Sorry. Cat goes back to sleep. So what do you think? Is it okay that I like you maybe a lot more than okay? I, I like you as a friend. Oh, hmm. uh, that's okay, yeah. I'll just, um, hmm. I'll adjust my expectations, thanks. Spend the rest of the afternoon petting cats and chatting. Eventually, I had a tongue. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Got nail and see nice work. I'm pumped, let's dungeon. Cute. 
Wow, wow, wow. Oh well, he's happy. Oh, it's all hurty. Time for a little break. Ooh. Well, I guess the little least one tier decorator really likes Valentine's Day. We're just friends, so this is a little awkward romance man. Mm. Now, if I were dating you, I'd probably go overboard too, to be fair. I mean, I like being your friend of both, uh, but I also don't really want to hear about your love life either. Sorry, if that makes me immature, I'll get over it much later sometime. <laughs> Try to smile, you aren't sure what to say. Besides shaking his head, there's an awkwardly long silence. <laughs> Sorry, let's just get back to fighting, that's easier. <laughs> He's like, if it was me, I'd be all down, but clearly. Clearly not. So this sucks. That's kind of funny. I feel bad, but like, I mean, like, at least I'm honest. Nice. Oh, he's close to being maxed out. Mind if we take a break? Maybe. Hmm. Stage, huh? When I was in person. Definitely. Wrong. Uh... No, there didn't see. Just as friends, I mean you and me and Mandy and the crew. <laughs> I like, it's kind of funny. It's kind of like when you're like, when you say just friends, he's like, oh, no worries, just as friends. No fears to be found, it seems. Oh? See how far deeper I can go to find another elevator and then stop then. Unless I die beforehand. Okay, I can leave. So I basically got yeah, I won't leave. Nice, I'm level 30. I'm a hero. Neat. just texting me. Okay. Sounds good. So I want to chill in the park with me? Sure, more like heat it up. Cool, see you there. Sorry, I've been quiet. Time with you has been healing. Uh, can you come to my old office work? So associate, my father's officially taken over and I want to confront him once and for all. I'll be there. I can do this. Yes, you can, Isaac. I believe. I mean, we can do this. I believe in you. The knuckles are your cat. I don't know what that means. Wait, something's happening. Well, pocket's back anyway. Sorry for the accusation. I guess he was sleeping somewhere here and now he wants to go out. 
I'll watch him. So there, he's out. And look, looks like he's headed for the museum. Have fun. Let's see. I have so much leftover vegan cheese everywhere, and I'm sick of girls sandwiches. I thought my plan was foolproof, but here I am, proved fool. Let's cook something else. Yeah, so I'll be right there. Oh shit. <laughs> I forget, like, Sawyer normally comes over to my place and not me going for two minutes. So, what are we cooking today, chef? I brought all my leftover cheese. Ah, uh, let's do pizza. Whoa. Brilliant, I knew I could count on you. I checked Google and cheese recipes, but they all had these complex oh. instructions. I even looked at a few for pizza, but there were too many options. One of them had like 50 photos of a vacation to Austria for some reason. Two of tens. I probably could have figured it out myself eventually, but I haven't really been sleeping. Too much stress, don't worry about it. Need my couch? Huh? Uh, yes. It's so quiet here compared to the dorm. My roommate has the noisiest <laughs> sex you can imagine. And your couch is so comfortable, like it's stuffed with angel feathers. A night of sleep would probably be good before our final exam, so I'm starting to wonder about everything. It's not a warm, fuzzy feeling. Even if I get straight A's and I'm wasting the peak years of my life going into debt. <sighs> and for what? I'm studying history, burying my nose in the past while the future burns. You could change majors. What would you rather do? Your peak is still ahead of you. You could change majors. I can, but I graduate way even later, and I don't even know what I'd switch into if I quit. Mm. If I quit school, maybe I could do something to really change the world. Man, that's your, up to you. Volunteer for the next mayor selection campaign, maybe? If I wait until after I graduate, I'm being selfish while people suffer. But you're the coolest person I know, and you graduated college, so... I don't know if they remember what I said before, so... What do you think? Would you make the same decisions if you could go back and say, Nobody can decide this for you. Uh, finish what you start. Um... Follow your heart. I just say follow your heart. Cause I switched majors. And honestly, I kinda wish I changed to a different major instead of the major I stuck ended up sticking with in the end, but I mean, it's cool. Oh. What if I could? I don't even know what my heart wants. Except I know I'm drawn to you with your support if I can do anything. You gonna find a boss battle like making pizza from scratch, but last time you did everything, so maybe it's better for me to stick ah. back. I mean, if I touch it, I'll just ruin it. Nonsense, be brave, I would leave. Okay, I'll show you how. Uh huh. Okay, yes, ma'am. So your abused excitement, fists clenched, or they powered yeah. up. Let's do this. Yeah, okay, chef. Careful with the knives, yeah. Yep, so I follow the steps for a pizza murder from scratch. Soon enough, you're eating the fruits or starches of your labor. <laughs> I love pizza, Italian, American, it's all good. And this is yours, my, my fave. This is actually better than restaurant food, how? It's cause it's made with love. You're like the big, the best big wow. sister ever. Plus I just realized we have leftovers for breakfast. This is the best. But it's getting a bit late. I should get some sleep before my exam. Tomorrow, records or not. Would you like, uh, I don't have anything. Um... So I don't know if you were joking before. I don't want to be a burden and I feel weird asking, but I can't thinking it would be so uh... rad. Can I sleep on your couch tonight, please? Yeah, that's fine. It's okay to say no and change your mind, really. This is... Uh, my couch is yours. Yeah, you really are the best. I'll just snuggle down and not be a bother. Night-night. You put a throw blanket over them, they're snoring with the moments you go to bed. In the morning, they're rushing late for class. Got a jet. Thanks again, Bye. chef. Slayer's eyes shine with admiration. That's adorable. The door closes softly behind them. Hell urgent. What? <laughs> What happens? <laughs> what is Sal Chow Chow other title besides Chancellor? Who? Emperor something, I think of China. No time, please. Other title. Emperor Wu of Wei? Emperor Da of Wu? I feel like it's like the way. I, th I think. Thanks. Was that right? I hope that was right. I don't know. I took a guess. I'm like not 100% sure. Okay, there's the museum. Wow. Fan Pocket sitting outside the Verona Beach Museum. He's looking at you. Hey, what's up? Flix is telling not his fur looks freshly clean and brushed. Would you like to offer? I don't have any gifts right now. He's decided not to give a gift right now. The door opens suddenly. Pocket jumps out of the way, eyes widen with curiosity. Oh. Oh, if it isn't the elusive cinnamon, what luck? I want to discuss our next date. Pocket is suddenly on full alert, as if someone has stepped on his tail. God, stand back, cinnamon. I know this cat. He's a dangerous wild beast. <laughs> you? 
Ugh. Eric tries to kick. Hey, don't kick the cat. I'll kick you. But the cat starts past this the museum. They do not allow dirty animals in the place. This is a sophistication. Not your problem. You hate cats. Never hurt him. Ah. Eric flinches back from your fury. You imagine his tail would be between his legs if he had one. You brush past him into the museum lobby. <laughs> oh, because he tried to kick him. Let's see, you enter just in time to see. And he was like, wow. Oh, I don't like Eric. Eric is such a jerk. Let's see. Um, you enter just in time to see Pocket Stelz disappear into the prehistoric exhibit. You follow browsing the dinosaur bones and super petitiously checking nooks and crannies. Oh, I need to go to bed soon. Eventually you find him gazing at a saber tooth cat skeleton the size of, uh, study the skeleton. You take a moment to, from tusk to tell. The label reads, uh, evacuated California State wow. Fossil. Pocket releases a small wheezy sigh at the. Is this your role model? Is that your great grandma? <laughs> Pocket still swishes with sudden mischief. He pounces on your foot playfully. His whiskers vibrate with excitement as he turns from the. some Toronado Museum. Security guards approach, but he's already out the door and scampering down the street. You browse the rest of the exhibit before heading home. Yo, what the hell happened? Uh, he's more confident, I guess? Well, I wish he'd stop attacking my feet. My slippers are destroyed, jeez. He saw one of his ancestors, that's what happened. You find Sunder waiting at a bench, listening to the hey. crickets. No work at hard going to the dungeon, making friends. I don't know how you do it. You work and work and just keep working. Maybe it's just because it's been 200 years, but life seems exhausting to me. Vampirism sounds tough. You sound burned out. <laughs> yeah, probably though. Not by the sun, eh? Hey, yo. <laughs> I don't know. Vampire life was cool at first. I guess everything loses its appeal over time. Probably. Sunder clears his throat. Would you like to offer a gift? Uh. Oh, would you like these? Oh, well shit, I already maxed it out. <laughs> these are gorgeous, just like you. So was there anything you wanted to ask me about the vampire situation? Uh... Can you turn into a bat? Oh, turning into a sword isn't enough for you? But no, I can't. No visibility either. At least not yet. Maybe when I get older. <sighs> Eesh, I hope no older vampires are watching us right now. Creepy, but I am allergic to sunlight, art, like, and churches. Oh well. What's the deal with Mandy? Mandy's my blood brother and has been since 1812 or so. I was a nobody in Benares, India when she found me, turned me and took me in. So here I am, eternally young because she liked my uh. face. We haven't been lovers in a long time, if that's what you're wondering. Oh, so they used to be. I guess being together for that long would be boring, maybe. You literally drink blood? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's not bad. It mixes well with vodka. I almost don't miss normal food. Except fried dough. I'd like to eat a donut. They even donut makers don't taste similar sad stuff. Are there werewolves too? Short answer, no. Long answer, death wolves have more moon related baggage. Mm. But they never migrated to California, so I won't worry about it. No more questions here. I get to ask you a question. The table's turned. Forewarning is a bit of a doozy. I've been feeling restless and purposeless the last 50 years or so. What'd you do with 200 years? What do you really, really want, honestly? Uh... I guess happiness? Yeah, same here. I just want to enjoy life, you know, every moment. Too bad everything is so much work. Even just thinking about the next 100 years is so tiring. Oh, damn, is that just... <laughs> That's kind of attractive, though. But anywho, everything reminds me of death like it's all rotting and doomed. Oh, I'm sure you didn't come to hear me win. Poor me, right? <laughs> I got a sharp edge, this body I'm infinite nights left, I should be complaining. Make me a vampire too. One day at a time. <laughs> yeah, that's my style in my case, one night at a time, huh? I should head home before the evil sun cooks See ya. me. Gives you a wave and saunters into the dark. You head home. Not much to do in the daytime here. I feel that, that would suck. Mostly just talk to the spider. You talk to spiders, so that's cool. How's your day? Same old. 
Probably gonna dungeon. It's so hard working, it hurts. Uh, the dungeon feels less like work with you, though, I'll say that. Uh, let's go here. Well, hello. You meet Isaac outside Brooks Associate, knock on the door. You can't go in there. Oh, can't I? Oh, damn, you're threatening. <laughs> Come in, the assistant shrugs and gets out of the way. Here it goes. Can I really do this? Good luck. Thanks. You hold his elbow and go inside together. Ah, oh, Mr. Brooks, I don't believe you have an appointment. Your assistant wouldn't make me one. Why would she? Apparently I'm not your father anymore, so you're a nobody to me. <laughs> Worse than a nobody? You're just the failure you're ever replaced. How dare you? I want a punch in the mouth? You should pull it. How dare you? Is it place a calming hand on your shoulder? But why are you doing this, Vincent? Why replace me at all? Even if you wanted to spite me, you must hate this. You always said jobs were for people who paid taxes. Oh. Yes, sis, but you were making such a mess I had to step in. My name was already on the door. This is a new low, but I only came here to tell you to your face that I don't yes. care. To your company, I don't mind. All of my money's going to charity anyway. It was a mistake to think I could help people with venture capital. Oh. Good, I'm so very glad that you're happy. Selling off this dungy nonsense, by the way. Some Silicon Valley nut job can have it. Well, be investing in solid, mm. timeless products. Computers, uh, coasters, pins, staplers. Those are just things you can see on your desk right now. I don't know. I don't even own a stapler. Ha! Haven't seen a stapler in years. They must be in hot demand. I should double my investment. Uh, you know what? Right. Doesn't matter. When you want to be a part of it, you can treat me with respect. You let me know. Squeeze his hand. Claire at Vincent. Spit on Vincent. To leave Isaac? Wait one second. I won't have you thinking this is all about you. Taking over my firm isn't about me? Well, father and son staring at each other for <clears throat> a moment. Very well, I suppose it is a little bit. I thought having a son would give me an ally or representative. Instead, I find you intending to give away everything and ruin the Brooks legacy. <sighs> Vincent, I appreciate the time and care you and mom putting to raising me, but you always said you wanted to trust me to make my own decisions. Why are you surprised? <laughs> I said that because I thought you'd make the right decisions, obviously, but at least I found one competent person, at least. Christine, get in here. Yes, sir, is there a problem? I'm going public with the news. Welcome to the family, Miss Brooks. Oh? What? Christine is my daughter, at least as far as the inheritance is concerned. Isaac. The Brooks legacy like can't be allowed to sink into the mud. Sorry, Isaac, I'm sure you understand. Mm -mm. I'm not sure I do. How can I say no? <laughs> I mean... You're probably like money. Unbelievable. Vincent clears his throat. Isaac leaves without a word. You should both be ashamed. Oh no, you don't. Mr. Brooks doesn't have time for you today or any day. Door slams for him. You don't see Isaac anywhere in the office. Find him outside, seemingly enjoy the sunshine. Well, hello. Well, Free, how should we celebrate? Free? Sorry, that's probably the wrong word. I'll be sad later, I'm sure, but. I'll mostly be sad thinking about what my father and I could have had what I wanted us to have. As for the money, I wanted it to go to charity, but that's out of my hands hmm. now. Right now in the moment, realizing I own nothing to that man is a relief. Well, not just a relief, also an emptiness, I confess. I'd rather not be alone tonight. You don't have to be alone. Well, some things are between me and God and like the, like the bathroom, but you're right. Hmm? Spending time with you would be nice tonight, maybe at my place. I mean, don't want to push you if you're uncomfortable, or we could just find a restaurant and say, where do you want to go? Oh, let's go to a restaurant. You discuss the options, eventually it leads you to Bravura. Welcome, Mr. Brooks, your usual table. We have that name grates on the ears, Brooks. I uh, should find a new one. You sit down and enjoy a fine five course meal together. <laughs> Let's see. Five course? It's <laughs> a lot. Nothing like cheese and bread and good company to soothe the soul. I know we didn't talk about my father much, but you're still a great comfort to me. Thank you for the wonderful evening. Oh, you're welcome. Like what? Let me know when you have a second, I'll come over. Oh, I guess uh, now is good. Cool, I'll move away. What's up? You wait for Sunder. You wash your hands just as. Come in. Thanks. Thanks, oh, hi. Weird timing, but I, uh, I have some bad news. Like what? You feel your chest get heavy as if a weight were pressing down. As clear as day, you see in Sunder's face that he's about to break up with you. 
Wait, we were together. Your mind resists imagining how things could be different between you. You imagine a reality in which he had infinite love to give you his heart, yours forever. No, I want the truth. Sunder <sighs> is stealing himself for what he's Even though to we're just friends, I have to say. I didn't even realize we were together. I thought we were just friends. I don't think we should see each other anymore. Not. Not like we have been. Wait, let's see. Why not? I'm not enough for you. I never was and never will be. I've loved spending time with you and seeing the world through your eyes. And see, it reached max level of Tile War. Alright, cool beans. It made me remember what it's like to be young and mortal, I mean. You're great. But your friendship deserves more time than I can give. I just don't have the energy. I'm too old or too lazy or... I just can't. Oh, but not. I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. If there's one thing I've learned in 200 years, it's self-care. More like self-care. Selfish care. <laughs> okay. Yeah, good, great, cool. You wonder if you're actually okay, you aren't sure yet. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Let's see, we've had fun, haven't we? As far as I'm concerned, that's a win. But other than that, I guess this is the end of an era. A change, at uh, least. I guess I'll get out of your hair. See you later, I hope. That's some stuff out. Your throat feels tight constructing. You have reached max level of center. The hours is pass in a blurry haze until you fall into light sleep. You woken by a knock through the people. You see a word looking at you. Come in. Hey. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I tried to help you, but... Well, you deserve better, that's all. Oh, do you love him? <sighs> I guess I do, like a little brother. It makes it hurt more to see him keep doing this. Sometimes I think he'll learn something, but he never uh... does. So, I knew what kind of man he was when I turned him those years ago. Yeah, I still keep expecting better. Maybe I'm the stuck one. We do our best. Yeah, I told myself that, but it doesn't help much. I don't normally do this, but want a hug before I go? Sure. You let her up, you in a surprisingly strong hug. You feel hurt. Oh. Let's see. Wow, I can see what Sunder was crazy for. You smell delicious. Sorry, too soon, too soon. Keep being good, Cinnamon. You're better at it, <laughs> at it than most. She gives a little wave as she leaves and you lock the door behind her. I mean, I guess so. <laughs> I didn't even realize we were dating. I just said we were just friends. even said, like, I know we're just friends, but I don't think we should see each other anymore. Oh, I was everyone gonna be all like, oh, hey, I don't think we should see each other anymore. We're just like, you know, I'm like, oh, cool. I guess I'm just, at least I'm getting everyone maxed out. So I guess that's good. Let's see. Uh, okay, hold up. Maybe said she came to you. See, I'm sorry for everything. If she didn't make it worse, just go away. I'm a C. Uh. Ah. Uh, I mean, she didn't make it work. I don't like these options. Uh, sure. I, I, the one that's not that rude is that I miss you, I guess. Just go away, whatever. Let's see, there you go. Sorry. Hope we can still fight together sometimes, but I know I asked for space, so I'll stop bothering you. Okay, cool. I'll be okay. That's all anyone can hope. I'm here for you, cuz. Talk to you later. I didn't even know we were... <laughs> They're like, hey, I heard it was over. And I was like, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> hmm, I don't think emojis are appropriate. I'd rather focus on her. Uh, it was tasty. What a summer it's been. And I'll start in the dungeon. Like to talk with you again about things that matter. Can you meet me at the mission one more time? Sure. Thanks. Okay, see you soon. Uh -huh. Let's see. Thanks. You find Isaac alone. In the I sanctuary. just wanted to help people. I know I you did, I Isaac. I thought I could work within the system to help people and impress my father. Some part of me thought being a good sword would impress him too. Aww. As if he was some kind of ritual or prayer I could practice. Maybe our parents are our first gods. Before we find a real one. I mean, that is the first but thing you ever know. helped me see how much I depend on Vincent. Emotionally.
reach max level with the stock. And how much I didn't need to. I could become more independent and be myself. We haven't known each other for very long, but you're already an important part of my life. I guess I trust your opinion more than anyone else's at this point. He's time to help fix income equality, local activism, political influence, educate the masses. How about educate the masses? Tree Vera is an up and coming, maybe there needs a boost. Speaking of things that drain your finances, do you think you'll ever want a kid, be a mother to someone? Probably. That's what I thought, but now this whole thing with Vincent has me thinking. Parents has such power, it's terrifying, but such a gift. He made a wonderful mother. He did make a wonderful mother, but I wonder if I could be as strong as you. I suppose we'll just get in the years to come if things work out. Either way, I'm glad we have each other for support. This summer has been so chaotic. You've been a comforting constance, my rock. Change. Oh, thank you. Leans into you with a smile on his lips. Wait, we kiss? I thought we were just friends. <laughs> I'm confused. You can sense an urgency tensing his shoulder. Let's now. go somewhere more private, shall we? I'll open a bottle of Bordeaux. And I bought some Belgian chocolate you might like. Do you mind if I get a bit more comfortable? I have a bathrobe you could borrow. Uh, let's just let's just cuddle, I guess. I didn't realize I was coming to your penthouse. <laughs> let's see. Her. Absolutely. Bathrobes are perfect for that, don't you think? Wait, why is he kissing me? <laughs> And How is it ready? The rest of our lives. <laughs> well, assuming we can survive whatever is going on with Eric. I'm making eggs, if you'd like some. Breakfast! Your eggs coming up. I have crumpets here somewhere. And the kettle's already on. Share a cozy morning before heading home. You have reached maximum level of Isaac. It's said uh, my favorite fun six students leaving. We're on a beach soon. Let's see. Um, of course, you're more than just a student to me, but I'll miss our lessons. Me too. They say distance makes the heart grow fonder. That's true. I prefer less painful methods personally. Good thing I have some healing potions left over. I'm glad we still have some time to go before we go, even if that katana creature is on the loose. Yeah. I wonder how come he was all like, because, I mean, he just went for it. <laughs> Unless I'm dating people, not realizing I'm dating people, because I told people, like, ah. Oh. That's why I was like, oh, let's go to the restaurant. Like, oh, we can go to your place. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I want to go to your place. <laughs> Letter bug rude. Okay. Ooh. Let's see. But the smile on your face drops off. You see, see Jake. Let's say hide from Jake. Let's see. Muttering to himself, you watch him walk away and turn to look at Player and Story. You should just leave Jake alone and go in. Yeah, you will. Anytime now. Hey. That's cool. I thought you'd be here later. Did you see? Yeah, I hid from him. He's being ridiculous right now. Thank you for being honest with me. Speaking of which, she twirls the strand of hair nervously and looks away. Our house is kind of cool. Speaking of messy, I have something to show oh. you. I don't trust you with a new part of me. I'm not sure. I Man, I need to go to bed soon. I'm not sure I should. Do you really want to know who I am? I want you to be honest. That's a big step, but I want to take it with you. Ah. Sure. Yeah. No, really. Okay, then come with me. Wait, we're holding hands? God, I guess I should say no. Let's see. It's beautiful. Thanks. Really, thanks. So. Um, wow, thank you. This is my last secret, mine and Jake's and Jessica's. We were, we are the roses of Venice. That's what we made together. We'd bring beauty and love to the streets around the world. You're one of maybe 30 people in the whole world who knows who we are. It's a big secret. But being an internationally renowned art. Mm hmm. Yeah, well, I guess I just trust you. Well, that's my secret. This is who I am. Istanbul, Paris, Tokyo, New York, London, Shanghai, now we're on a beach. Why our last job all together was the war. It got us all a lot of attention. I think we'd wanted to buy Interpol now. And Jessica wanted more of it. The more dangerous it got, the better. 
I just needed to get away from it all, you know, Lilo. No chance of running into Jessica on Main Street. This is the opposite <laughs> of her scene. Larry looks at it. Needed the truth of her painting on the wall, behind impossibly bright. <laughs> People talk about the mural and take pictures as the sun goes down. Would you like to offer a gift? Uh, I don't know if I have anything that she would like. 